The goal of this presentation is to show you how to determine the fair value of the bond. Three ways corporation raise funds from outside. One, debt. Two, preferred stock. Three, common stock. Fair value or intrinsic value is calculated based on the present value of the future cash flows from the bonds. Market value is the price at which bond is selling in the market. What are bonds? Bonds are IOU on a piece of paper and nothing is attached to it. Corporations issue bonds to finance the long-term capital needs of the company. Raising money with bonds is cheaper compared to preferred stock and common stock. Cost of debt is generally lower than preferred stock and common stock. At the same time, debt increases the financial risk of the company. Bonds are debt instruments issued by borrowers to raise money. Corporations issue bonds to finance long-term capital needs of the company. Raising capital with bond is cheaper compared to preferred stock and common stock if the company is in good financial health. Although the cost of debt financing is lower than other two alternatives, it brings the additional risk to the company because of the fixed periodic obligations and maturity obligations. Corporations are borrowers, lenders are bondholders, and bond is traded in the bond market. Corporations are the issuers of the bond, lenders are the buyers of the bond, and the bonds are traded in the market. To determine the value of the bond, you need the par value, coupon payments, interest rate on similar risk bonds, and maturity date. Before we start bond valuation calculations, let's set the financial calculator to one payment a year. Steps involved in bond valuation. The following are the three steps involved in bond valuation. One, identify the cash flows associated with the bonds. Two, determine the interest rate of similar risk bonds. Three, Use the current interest rate of similar risk bond, which is also referred to as required rate of return or discount rate. Compute the present value of cash flows from the bond. There are two types of cash flows from investment of bonds. Number one, coupon amount. Number two, maturity value. Coupon amount is the interest rate you receive every year based on the coupon interest rate of the bond. Coupon amount is a stream of payment over the life of the bond. Maturity value is the par value of the bond that bondholder will receive on the maturity date. It is a lump sum amount. Now let's look at the bond valuation model. Bond valuation model help both buyers and sellers in making buying and selling decisions. Bond valuation is based on the basic financial valuation model that states that value of any given asset, both tangible and intangible, is the function of present value of future cash flows. Let's understand the bond valuation model using the timeline. Assume that bond is maturing in 10 years. Draw the timeline assuming that bond is maturing in 10 years. Put a question mark on period zero because the goal is to determine the value of the bond today. The value today is the present value. Once you buy a bond, you will receive interest payment that is also referred to as coupon payment every year for next 10 years. Post CP for coupon payments on the timeline. At the end of 10th year, you will receive the maturity value that is also referred to as par value. Post MV for maturity value at the end of the 10th year. To find the value of the bond, you need to bring all the coupon payments of equal amount to today's value, which is the present value of annuity. Maturity value is the lump sum amount you will receive at the end of 10th year. To compute the present value of a stream of coupon payments and the maturity value, you need interest rate. The interest rate that is used to discount the cash flows from the bond is the interest rate of similar risk corporate bonds today. Now let's learn how to calculate the value of the bond using a simple example. Example number one, par value of the bond is given to you as $1,000, coupon interest rate is 10%, maturity date is 10 years, required rate is 8%. The question is, what is the fair value of the bond? Let's suppose the cash flows and the interest rate that is also referred to as required rate of return on the timeline and calculate the fair value of the bond using the bond valuation model. The bond is maturing in 10 years. Coupon rate for the bond is 10%. That means you would receive $100 every year for next 10 years. And the required rate of return was given to you as 8%. Let's use this information of the bond from the timeline and compute the value of the bond using a financial calculator. Let's enter the data in the calculator in the following order. 10 N. 8 i slash y 100 payments 1000 a future value press cpt key if you are using ti or just pv key if you are using hp the pv is 113420 the results are negative because you are computing the present value of the future cash flows 
Let's look at the example to power value is $1,000, coupon rate is 10%, maturity value is 10 years, and the required rate of return is 10%. The question is, what is the fair value of the bond? Let's suppose the cash flows and the interest rate that is also referred to as required rate of return on the timeline and calculate the fair value of the bond using the bond valuation model. The bond is maturing in 10 years, coupon rate is 10%, that means you would receive $100 every year for next 10 years and the required rate of return is given to you as 10%. Let's use this information of the bond from the timeline and compute the value of bond using a financial calculator. Let's enter the data in the calculator in the following order. 10 N 10 I slash Y 100 PMT 1000 FV press CPT and PV for TI just PV for HP. The PV is 1000. The value of the bond is $1000. Uh, let's take another example. Power value is $1000. Coupon rate is 10%. Maturity date is 10 years. Required rate is 12%. The question is what is the fair value of the bond? Let's suppose the cash flows and the interest rate that is also referred to as a required rate of return on the timeline. Calculate the fair value of the bond using the bond valuation model. Bond is maturing in 10 years. Coupon rate for the bond is 10%. That means you will receive $100 every year for the next 10 years and the required rate of return was given to you as 12%. The bond is maturing in 10 years. Coupon rate for the bond is 10%. That means you would receive $100 every year for next 10 years and the required rate of return was given to you as 12%. Let's use the information of the bond from the timeline and compute the value of the bond using a financial calculator. Let's enter the data in the calculator in the following order. 10 N 12 I slash Y 100 PMT 1000 FV press CPT and PV if you are using TI calculator just PV if you are using HP calculator. The present value is 886.99. The value of the bond is 886.99 bond value and the interest rate. Let's look at the relationship between the value of the bond and the interest rate. If the current interest rate of similar risk bond is lower than the coupon rate, the bond will sell higher than the par value that is at a premium. The reason the bond will sell at a premium because the bond is offering a higher rate of return than the bond with similar risk today. If the current interest rate of similar risk bond is equal to coupon rate, the bond will sell at a par value. If the current interest rate of similar risk bond is greater than the coupon rate, the bond will sell below the par value that is at discount. The reason the bond will sell at a discount because bond is offering a lower rate of return than the bond of similar risk today. Let's take another example and learn how to compute the value of the bond assuming that interest is paid every six months. Example 4. Par value is $1000. Coupon rate is 10%. Maturity date is 10 years. Required rate of return is 8%. The question is, what is the fair value of the bond? In this example, interest is paid every six months and it is an example of non-annual discounting. The rules for converting annual data to non-annual data is as follows. Multiply the number of years by number of compounding or discounting period in a year. In this example, we have 10 years and there are two six month period in a year. So 10 times 2 is 20 semi-annual periods. Number 2. Divide the required rate of return by number of compounding or discounting periods in a year. Interest rate is 8%. There are two 6-month periods in a year. 8 divided by 2 equals to 4. Number 3. Divide the coupon interest rate by number of compounding or discounting period in a year. Coupon rate is 10%. There are two 6-month periods in a year. 10 divided by 2 equals to 5. Multiply semi-annual coupon rate of 5% by the par value of $1,000 to determine the coupon amount. So 5% times 1000 equals to $50 every 6 months. Let's suppose the cash flows and the interest rate that is also referred to as a required rate of return on the timeline and calculate the fair value of the bond using the bond valuation model. Bond is maturing in 20 periods. Coupon rate for the bond is 5% semi-annually. Required rate of return is 4% semi-annually. Let's use this information of the bond from the timeline and compute the value of the bond using a financial calculator. Let's enter the data in the calculator in the following order. 20 N 4 I slash Y 50 PMT 1000 FV press 
CPT key and PV for TI calculator, just PV for HP calculator. The present value is 113590. The value of the bond is 113590. Let's look at how to use a spreadsheet to calculate the value of the bond. Open the spreadsheet and create a blank sheet named bond valuation. Enter the labels in column A, formulas in B14, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, and C14 as shown on the screen. You may have to pause the video while entering the labels in the spreadsheet. After entering the labels and the formula, save the spreadsheet and enter the data as shown on the screen in column B. Do not enter any data in column C. After you have entered the data in column B as shown on the screen, spreadsheet will calculate the semi-annual data and the value of the bond using the annual compounding in cell B14 and value of the bond using semi-annual compounding in cell C14. If you encounter problems with creating spreadsheet for bond valuation, please visit the website and download the bond valuation spreadsheet. Thank you.